I fell of which are ends, especially dun sa mga tulad ko na nahihirapang aralin ang pharmacology. Okay, first of all, I feel you, you know. I don't know about others, but for me, pharmacology is one of the hardest subjects in nursing school. Disclaimer po ha, hindi ako magaling na magaling sa pharma. And yung, yung grade ko nung, ano, yung grade ko sa, sa pharmacology is, you know, so-so. <laughs> Sakto lang. Kasi yung, yung pharmacology, lalo na, tinan mo yung book, napakakapal. Dami-dami mong kailangan basahin. No? So, what I'm gonna share to you is kung ano yung ginagawa ko para ma ma-simplify yung mga information. Yung hindi hindi ko kailangang, alam mo yun, hindi ko kailangang i-memorize lahat, hindi ko kailangang i-digest lahat. Alam mo, kasi kung yung buong libro na yun, kailangan kong aralin, just ko baka brain cells ko may isa isang magtakabuhan. Okay, first step, you know, in, in studying pharmacology is know your drug or know the drug. Okay, what do I mean by this? Okay, so, kasama dito sa so know, know the drug is yung name and classification. Siyempre, yan ang pinaka-importante. Dapat alam mo kung anong pangalan ng drug na yan, anong classification ng drug na yan. Okay, alam ko, napakarami ng gamot, no? And siguro kulang yung lifetime na to kung i-memorize mo yan sa lahat. So, the second best thing to do is to familiarize yourself. There are many things na makakatulong sa atin para ma-familiarize tayo sa mga drugs. First is common suffixes and prefixes or prefixes of drugs. For example, kapag naririnig mo ang drug ending with lol or olol, that's your beta blockers. Diba? Ano pa? Um, like for example, drugs ending with terol or feline. That's your what? That's your bronchodilators. Okay? Kasi, um, so, ibig sabihin, hindi mo na kailangang i-memorize na Um, hindi mo na kailangan memorize lahat ng beta blockers like you know, your metoprolol, labetalol. Basta alam mo na kapag ang drug ay ending with olol or lol, kapag nabasa mo yan sa situation, kahit pa hindi mo alam, no, hindi mo memorize na beta blockers yan, sa, sa pangalan pa lang may idea ka na kung ano yung drug na yun. For example, um, alam mo na ang drugs ending with terol and filin are bronchodilators. So kapag nabasa mo sa situation na ang binigay na gamot is albuterol, may idea ka na, oh, bronchodilator yan, a drug ending with drug, or pag nabas mo theophylline, aminophylline, you know, and so on and so forth. Ito, madami pang example to, like, for example, your ACE inhibitors, you know, or the drugs ending with pril, or your ARBs, um, or the drugs ending with sartan, like losartan, things like that. So, familiarize yourself. Number two, know the indication. Para saan ginagamit ang drug na yan. Like, for example, alam mo, um, alam mo na ang metoprolol ay beta blockers. So, ngayon, kailangan mo malamang para sa ginagamit ang beta blocker, it's an, an, it's an anti-hypertensive. So, ginagamit siya sa high blood pressure. Okay? Um, kasama na din sa indication, of course, yung, yung um, signs of effectivity ng drug. Paano mo malalaman na naging effective yung drug? Like, for example, kung nagbigay ka ng anti-hypertensive, ano yung i-access mo para malaman mo effect naging effective yung drug? Yung blood pressure. Bumaba ba yung blood pressure? Okay? Next is, um, isa din sa mga important is your side effects and adverse effects. Okay, yan, pinaka-important kasi minsan sa mga questions sa PNLE, um, tinatanong yan, yan yung mostly din ask questions, yung mga um, adverse reaction, side effects. Okay. And kasama na dito, of course, kung may mga signs of toxicity. Kailangan mo inote yan. And, syempre, ang antidote if ever meron. Okay. One of the most important also is your nursing considerations or nursing responsibilities. Okay, kasama na dyan, syempre, how, how do you give the drug yung route, syempre. Um, how do you give it? Um, the best time to give it? Syempre, meron kasi tayong um, meron tayong mga uh, medications na before meals, after meals, merong um, with meals, merong um, on an empty stomach. Diba? Kasama yan sa nursing considerations mo. And also, of course, your interventions. What do you teach your, your patient? health teaching as well. Like, for example, kung ang medication na to, may side, kung ang certain medication, may side effect ng headache or dizziness, so, you have to priori uh, prioritize your safety, no, ng iyong patient. So, i-educate mo siya, sir, um, huwag kang mababa sa bed or itaas mo ang, so, ikaw as a nurse, itaas mo ang side rails ng, ng bed ng patient, instruct mo siya na huwag bababa ng, ng siya lang mag-isa or ilapit mo yung call bell sa kanya, things like that. That's your nursing considerations. Additional, okay. First, Huwag mong i-cram, no, yung lahat ng drugs aralin mo lahat today, no. Ang, I think one of the best tips is that, um, study mo siya per system. Like, for example, ah, oh, today I'm gonna study respiratory drugs or cardiovascular drugs, ganon. 
or pwede din namang per classification. Like for example, um, okay today I'm gonna study about um, antibiotics. You know, kasi antibiotics maraming generation, no? so hindi din siya madaling aralin. Okay, so wag sabay-sabay, pwede ka mag per system or per classification para hindi ka malito. Next is practice. Paano ka mag-practice? Kapag pinapagawa ka ng CI mo, ng drug study, take it as opportunity to learn about the drugs. No, wag ka lang basta mag-copy-paste, maglaan ka rin ng time na para basahin, lalo na yung mga drugs na hindi mo pa na-encounter and yung mga drugs na madalas ginagamit doon sa duty. I think, walang isang best tip na, na pwedeng makapag-save sa'yo sa pharmacology, no, <laughs> sa nursing school, pero um, I think nakadepende pa rin kung... kung sa iyong learning style, kung paano ka mas mabilis na natututo, kung paano mo mas mabilis na, na naiintindihan ng mga concept. Ayun lang. Good luck. Sana makatulong tong um, study tips for um, pharmacology. Thank you. Bye.